Uh, hi everyone, this is Lakshma. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the today's session, we are going to learn how to create a form using HTML. The form creation is most important uh, concept uh, while developing the web pages uh, using HTML. Okay, so I'm going to explain in an easy manner how you are going to create the registration form using HTML. Okay, so as we know all, uh, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So by using HTML, we can develop the web pages. The forms are mainly used to take the input from the end user or customer. Getting the data from end user, it is one of the most important thing while you are registering any website. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's see. So to create a form using HTML, I'm using one of the most popular IDE that is nothing but Visual Studio Code. This is one of the most popular using IDE to develop the softwares or to develop the web applications. Okay, so first we need to create the one file. I'm so I'm giving file name here index.html. Okay, in that I'm creating, I'm just typing the exclamation and click on enter button. Then you can see some boilerplate code here. And in the title, I'm writing registration, registration form. Okay, so what the title tag it does. So the output will look like this. Just right click on that one, open with live server. Okay, so you can see here, what are the uh, tab name is registration form. Okay, this is nothing but uh, title, title of the web page. Okay, so whenever you are giving a title here, registration form, that name would be, you can see here in the tab. Okay, registration form. I hope you got it. Whatever you see the content in the web page, that all script you should be right in the body tag only. Okay, in the body tag, you have to write, uh, you have to start with the form tag. Okay, in the form tag, you have to start with the username. Okay, and username, you should give some input tag. Because we are taking the data from the user. So for that reason, we are taking the input tag and type is, type is text. Okay. So the default uh, input tag type is text only. Okay, now you can see the output, how it will look like. See here, username and a checkbox. You can enter it here. Okay. And next, we have to give password. Password and you have to take input tag again and the type is so password means you, there is one uh, password option is there. You have to do password only because, so while you are typing the password, no one can see your characters. So that is the reason the input type is password. You check the output, how it will look like. Okay, username and uh, password. Whenever you are trying to enter the password, see here, those uh, characters are hidden. Okay, so that is the reason the input type is password. But I want this password in the next line. Then what tag you can use? You can use the empty tag. Empty tag nothing but is a break, BR. Okay, so if you use BR, then the output will look like this. See here, username and password come line by line. Okay, now we'll see submit button. Submit is a button. So you have to write the button. You have to take the button tag. Okay. And type, it says submit. That's it. You have to write here, submit. Now see, save it and see the output, how it will look like. Okay. See here, submit button. Okay. And also I want one more. Uh, reset button also. So same thing, button, type, reset. Okay. And you have to write here, reset. That's it. Now save the code and see the output. 
right okay now i want to, to enter a email option as well then how you can create email email okay and input type type also email okay that's it and enter the break now see in the output email uh, element also has came so the next element is one of the most important element that is enter date of birth so for that you have to write input tag input and type equal to and date and use a br tag okay now see the output how it will look like okay you can see the date of birth as well you can enter the date of birth in your registration form okay and the next most important uh, element is like checkbox suppose my favorite favorite course okay so you want so you, you want to show your favorite course like input type checkbox okay you just mention here like java similarly we can type multiple options i am just typing here python and one more react js yes. i'll just save it and uh, let us look at the output okay favorite courses see you can you can check it out okay you can select more than one option by using checkbox option I want to see the submit and reset button in the downside. So what you have to do, you just click on the, just type the break button, break. Now see, okay. And uh, one more important element is like uh, gender, okay. So gender, whether you are male or female, you have to give the input as well while you are typing the registration form okay so input type radio okay and you have to mention here name name is compulsory okay and like uh, gender okay and uh, here you have to mention male and one more input type radio buttons radio okay and the name you have to give same name only equal i forget equal okay gender and you have to give here female okay now let us look at the output after saving see here gender male and female okay See, observe here, you can select only one only. That is nothing but a or radio buttons. You cannot select both. But whereas in the checkbox, you can select more than one option. That is the main difference between radio button and a checkbox. Okay. So if you give here break option, then you can see the output like that. Okay. And one more important element is like a telephone. Okay phone so you can give here input type input type tele okay and just close it now let us look at so phone number as well and just give the break button okay just see here telephone okay and now one more important element is that is nothing but select options like drop down how to create drop down suppose country i'm creating country you have to select one country for that reason you have to create select option in the select option you can mention again option value here you need to mention india okay india and similarly you have to create two more option option value like 
US. Okay. US. And one more. Option. Value. Value equal like a UK. Okay, UK. Okay, now let us see and now save the code and see the output. Yes, you can see the output here. Three options are there. This is nothing but drop down. You can select one option okay suppose if you give here break button then it will comes to the next line just give break here just use break tag now let's see this is the country tag country element you can choose one one option this is nothing but a drop down option so here, this is the text box and okay, this is the date and this is check box and this is the radio button and this is the, again, telephone uh, text box and this is a drop down and submit and reset button. Okay, and we can also, um, and you can also create a, how to upload file as well. Now we'll create the, how to upload the file, upload file, okay. For that also, in we have to use input tag and a type. You have to mention file here. Okay, that's it. And create the break button. Okay. Now let's see the code. See here. You can choose the file and you can upload the file from your computer. So these are the multiple elements uh, to take the input data from customer or end user. So this is one of the registration form. And uh, we can also give heading as well. Uh, like, uh, here, here you can give headings like uh, H1 tag. Okay, so registration form example. And you have to, you can give some color as well using style background background color aqua okay just see here so if you want to keep in this uh, in center then you can use a center as well here you can use a center okay so in the center tag we can write this example Okay, now see here, yes, our registration form example. So username, password. So this is just to creating the registration form by using HTML. So if you apply CSS, then we can create a, a beautiful web page, beautiful registration web page. Okay, so as of now, in this video, I just creating the registration form by using HTML, okay. I hope you enjoy this video. So if you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. I will reply to your queries and we'll meet in the next video. So thank you very much.